Howdy there folks, my name's Steven and today I have something super exciting to show you. That's right, the Pink Whip, the Keystone Firearms Cricket. Now this is made so you can teach your youngin how to shoot comfortably and accurately. It features an all high quality polymer stock with a polymer trigger guard, a front and rear swivel sling stud, a plastic butt pad, but since it's 22, it really doesn't hurt to shoot. It features a 16.125 uh, inch barrel. A length of pull is 11.5 inches, so very short and comfortable for a youngin to shoot. It's a one and 16 inch twist, and you can shoot 22 short and 22 long rifle out of this. It is a bolt action rifle. You can operate the bolt. It's very easy to operate. It has a manual uh, firing pin set and it can locks the bolt in place once it is set for added safety fire it and you can operate that bolt this one features a rear aperture sight that is adjustable via a phillips head screwdriver and i opted to put a picatinny rail on it and a red dot the stock is actually quite firm there's not a lot of flex or wiggle in it um, it actually feels pretty heavy duty it's extremely light it weighs only two pounds eight ounces and uh, the barrel is not free floated though but for the the purpose and design of this rifle that really doesn't matter so without further ado let's go ahead and get started it is manually fed one round at a time for added safety um, and if you want to see more specs on this rifle uh, and more of the fine details check out my previous video all right folks we'll be testing out this keystone cricket 22 long rifle and 22 short uh, rifle it can take either size cartridge with the federal auto match ammunition this is 22 long rifle and we're going to be testing out along the way this daxa sun uh, red dot optic as well i have it set on the 2moa dot uh, without the circle around it um, i find that the circle with the dot in the middle works really good for a really quick target acquisition but for precision shooting i like to use the singular uh, dot the way this uh cricket loads as you take your round and it has like a little uh, spring-loaded uh, feeder you just drop it in there if it doesn't center just kind of wiggle it and it'll center um, when I was sighting this in I did have a couple failures to extract um, and when that happened I would just have to re-rack it until it caught it and extract it so couple of failures to extract um, feeding uh, initially was pretty rough too you really had to be pretty rough on it slam it forward good to get it to feed but uh, as you can see right there, then you cock this um, firing pin manually right back here. We're shooting at about uh, 20 yards right now for the purposes of this testing. Extremely accurate though. Um, if you want to improve the chances of it extracting correctly um, and ejecting, really rack it back a little with a little bit of... Uh, intensity and that helps uh, quite a bit I imagine with some good CCI ammunition this would be more accurate but that's a great feature because this is designed to help teach people how to shoot and you want as many safeties built into this as possible um, so the fact that it's bolt action, the fact that it's single uh, loading, and the fact that you have to separately cock it is actually a really good thing. Um, the glass on this uh, Daxa Sun is actually very, very clear. I do get some red reflection around the uh, dot, around the red dot, um, in a square, um, which must be like the um, actual light reflecting off of the uh, lens in there that gives you the dot. I don't know exactly how to explain that, but it's project. it has a little bit of uh, haze around it. Um, other than that, nice clear glass. Easy to see that, up. Oh, see, we had a failure to extract. So having failures to extract, having difficulty feeding with this Cricut 22. Trigger is pretty heavy, but that's okay because this is a training uh, rifle. Um, but it is really gritty, grindy. It's a pretty bad trigger.
anyways, overall, very happy with the Daxa Sun Red Dot. Um, at its price point, it seems like a good buy. Um, it's made of uh, good quality metal, has good coatings on it. It's easy to uh, operate, um, has that shake awake and auto off, which to me is a huge, huge benefit. Um, also comes with that riser um, included and some little rubberized uh, lens covers. So overall happy with that. The Cricut 22, actually a bit unhappy. Having those ejection and extraction issues and feeding issues just seems kind of unacceptable to me. But uh, anyways, it shoots relatively or pretty accurately. I think with better ammunition, a little bit more shooting, I think this thing could shoot uh, extremely accurately, actually, uh, with that 16.125 inch barrel, like the 11.5 inch length of pole for training uh, small people. I think that'll come in really handy. Um, the stock, really nice and rigid, which I like. But uh, anyways, if you like this review, go ahead and check out some more of our videos.